One of the great features of the RC Pro is its ability to create screen recordings and screenshots. But where are these videos and photos stored? And can I choose where to store them? And how do I access them? In this short video, I'll answer all these questions. Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Joe from Ghost1917. It's super useful to be able to document your flights directly onto your controller for easy access and use. But how do we do this and where are they stored? First, let's look at how to capture a screen recording. You start by pulling down from the top right of the screen to reveal the shortcuts menu. Then click on the screen recording icon to start recording. And when you're done recording, click on the little red record button at the bottom of the screen and the video is saved. For screenshots, again, pull down the upper right hand corner of the screen and this time click on the screenshot icon. And the photo is taken and saved. But where are all these recordings saved? For this, we'll need to open the files folder. By default, screen recordings are saved to the movies folder and screenshots are saved to the screenshot folder, which is in the pictures folder of the Aussie Pro's internal storage, which is only 32 gigs, so it can fill up fairly quickly. And at the time of this video, it was still not possible to change the default save location. So what I did was I created folders on my SD card for both the screen recordings and screenshots. And I move the files to these locations until I have an opportunity to transfer them to my computer. This frees up the internal storage of the RC Pro. This whole process is pretty straightforward using the Files app on the controller. Simply open the Files app and navigate to your external storage. And if you haven't renamed it, by default, the name is Android. I've renamed mine RC Pro SD. Now, Click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner and choose new folder and create two new folders, one for your screenshots and one for your screen recordings. Now navigate back to the internal storage and then pictures and then screenshots and then long press on the files that you want to transfer. Then click in the upper right hand corner, the three dots again, and choose move to. You don't want to choose copy to or the files will remain on your internal storage, defeating what we're trying to accomplish, which is freeing up your internal storage space. Now do the same with your screen recordings. Now all of your screen capture media is on your external SD card in your two new folders, screen recordings and screenshots, ready to be transferred to your computer at a later date. As always, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any questions about the process or if you have a different way of storing your screen captures. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.